So I've done previous videos on talking about different aspects of both Fortnite and PUBG. Mobile comparisons, graphic comparisons, things like that. But I've actually never done like a complete analysis of both games and them head to head. So for people who are asking that question, Fortnite or PUBG, this video is for you. Also, stay tuned for the very end of the video because I got a surprise for you guys. All right, so let's start at gameplay. So right off the bat, let's start with Fortnite. Fortnite is a faster game. You jump high, the parachuting distance is further, movement speed is faster, engagements are a little bit more unpredictable. This game was purposely meant to be a faster PUBG. You're a little bit more accessible, and what I mean by that is you're able to be accessed beneath you, on top of you, on the sides, depending on where you're at. You can be ambushed from any angle. It's a little goofier, it's a little sillier. That's what Fortnite wanted to go for. It wasn't a mistake that it is the way it is now. Obviously one of the biggest things that makes Fortnite its own game is the building mechanics. It gives you the opportunity to create firefights that wouldn't normally happen in another game. Something as random as building a huge sky fortress or sky bridge as they call it. On the other hand with PUBG, I would categorize it as a military shooter. Yes, they are both battle royale games, but I think that's where they split off. PUBG is a military sim that's primary mode, its only mode, is a battle royale game type. PUBG pretty much popularized the battle royale genre. There's no doubt about that. But the thing is, it's a very different game. Ask people who have played both games. They're very different. The battle royale game type and the rules and stuff, like that's probably where they end in similarity. You're not jumping super high. You're not launch padding out of a sticky situation. I feel like with PUBG, engaging enemies takes a little bit more thinking and a little bit more planning. I would say that PUBG has a little bit more of a steep learning curve when it comes to kind of like new players and feeling intimidated. I felt the same exact way when I started playing PUBG. I'm like, I don't know any of this stuff. But with enough time spent with all the controls, all the things like that, I feel like overall PUBG is a little more flexible when it comes to overall taking control of your character. And I've heard it, yeah, Fortnite for some people is not their thing. Like, they like military stuff. People simply don't like Fortnite style. And on the other hand, PUBG might be a little too serious, it might be too slow, it might not be cartoonish enough. In the end, it's just preference, really. That's pretty much the gameplay aspect of it. Graphics. <laughs> Everybody pretty much knows Fortnite and PUBG are two artistically different games. One is a more realistic looking shooter that is in Russia somewhere. Pretty much resembles like DayZ and H1Z1, those open world games. And Fortnite is just this cartoonish, outlandish game that looks super colorful and weird. Both games look amazing on the rigs that they run on. The console variants of these games the PUBG one needs a little bit of work, I will admit. But Fortnite looks like it belongs on the console. Nonetheless, none of these games should be judged off of their graphics. They're two very different looking games. They run amazing on both platforms, on all the platforms they run on. Controversy. Let's go back. Battle Royale released in September of 2017. This was when PUBG was really hot. But obviously, Blue Hole, the creators of PUBG, were not very excited about having a rival. We pretty much used them for inspiration for their game mode. And at first glance, even myself included, we were all like, what is this piece of sh trying to copy PUBG? Like, is this is a sorry attempt at a game that's doing amazing. They even threaten legal action, which is a little much. I don't know how I feel about suing somebody for the genre, but I can understand where they're coming from. Again, why would I wanna go play this Fortnite stupid game over there? That said, people started to dabble with the game and quickly realized that these are two very different games. PUBG struggled to keep up. And I mean, for, for a game like PUBG, they're doing amazing compared to like other games, like number one. But obviously Fortnite was growing and it was catching up to them, so it was something to worry about. Around the time, I would say early November, a lot of bots and cheaters plagued PUBG, and I think they still do. The cheater issue was pretty bad. There was aim bots, just bots in general, just all kinds of hacks that really destroyed the experience. Along with optimization issues, crashing, things like that, it really pushed me over to Fortnite. Was it a good PR move to publicly call out and threaten Fortnite and Epic Games? Probably not. Did it hurt them in the end? I don't know, maybe. But I, again, I completely understand why they would have called them out. I don't deny that Epic's game literally got a PC with PUBG and said, mm -hmm. oh, there's a circle. You jump out of a flying vehicle? Got it. Content. Content. 
in the environment department, PUBG is already doing better. They have two maps. Originally, they started off with one map and obviously added another in the past few months. Located in the desert, the map was a hit. Everybody likes variety. I like variety. I was getting pretty bored of the original one. And when I'm playing too much on the desert one, I wish to go back to the original. It allows for a lot of replayability. Fortnite currently only has one map and they've added a few different towns, things like that, cities, different areas. It hasn't bothered me specifically that there's not an entirely different map, but I wouldn't mind seeing another Fortnite map. In terms of DLC though, or microtransactions, I'm gonna go ahead and call this out right now. You guys are gonna be very angry with me, possibly. I feel this strongly. PUBG crates are stupid. They are the worst investment to cosmetic microtransactions that I've ever experienced in my entire life. I feel like every free crate that I get is the same exact sh It's striped shirts, red shirts, and camo pants or work boots. Every single time. I understand that you can buy keys and buy crates to get higher value items. I don't want to have to pay for a crate and I don't want to have to pay for a key separately. And these are for single pieces. This is for like a skirt. This is for a helmet. It's bullshit. But with Fortnite, you have a battle pass, which essentially every few weeks a new season comes out, you have to opt in to buy that battle pass for $10. And it has 100 tiers that you can get through, different challenges, things like that. And you can get different skins. Every battle pass has skins throughout its tier ranking system. You can look that up here. But yeah, there's more customization options. These are full outfits. You get different pickaxes, back bling, gliders, dances, stickers, things like that. I feel like you're getting a lot more bang for your buck with Fortnite's battle pass system than you are with PUBG's crate system. To clarify, these microtransactions do not offer any sort of competitive edge. You don't get a better weapon than somebody else. This is not a pay to win structure. This is purely cosmetic, but I can understand why people spend money on this. I mean, I do. I don't wanna stare at the same character every single time that I play this game. This is more like an extra sort of thing. But if you do decide to spend money, this is where your money is going to be spent. And I personally believe that Fortnite has a better system in this regard. So, Fortnite versus PUBG. I can tell you all day what game I'm going to pick. I'm going to pick Fortnite. That's just the game that I prefer. I've played both games. I've played PUBG, I would say, longer than Fortnite. But with that said, I mean, it's just my game. Fortnite is... is, is more my speed. I've played enough military games to know that maybe that setting doesn't really need to be the case for all shooters. If you're looking for a more military setting, a more realistic gameplay, then go for PUBG. You're gonna enjoy both of these games. Or play both, man. But personally, too many mistakes with PUBG in the past pushed me over to Fortnite. But let me know, what do you like about PUBG or what do you like about Fortnite? But before you go, I have a surprise for you. I have a giveaway currently that's ending on Wednesday, so if you guys wanna enter it, click on the link down below. If you don't win though, I am going to be doing a monthly $10 V-Bucks giveaway on your platform of choice. Yes, you heard it here first. Every single month on the 15th of each month. All you gotta do is go down to the description below, click on the link, provide a valid email address and your name. Make sure you're subscribed because that is also required. And on the 15th of every month, I'm gonna be drawing a winner. System also tells me for duplicate entry, so don't try me. I know $10 is not a lot in Fortnite, but hey, it's $10 that you didn't have before, so. Anyways guys, if you liked the video, go ahead and smack the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.